So here's an Eaton 9PX. Uh, this happens to be a 2000 VA. Um, there's some several different range options that this one's available. Uh, this is the smaller scale um, size for the 9PX. It's the online double conversion Eaton UPS. When it first comes in, the uh, you, first thing you gotta do when you get out of the box is you kinda gotta squeeze this little front display. Kinda working on both sides, pull it off. If you're gonna mount it horizontally, uh, like in a server rack, it stays like this. If you're gonna mount it as a tower configuration, it quarter turns to the right, so then whenever it goes on its edge, it, um, the display works. For right now, we'll just leave it horizontal. Do not plug it in. Um, if you plug it in, or if you try to start it uh, before this process we go through, it's not gonna work. Now push into this face, go over into the side, there's these little studs in here that uh, release a little keyhole and it allows you to open this up. It ships with this battery connector unplugged. So you just plug it, make sure that it clicks. Come back in, again slide it this way, push it and then kind of pull it back out. Now it's secure, then you can go ahead and put your cover there on the front. Do not force it on without having it plugged in. If you do, what happens is it may come up as 50 hertz on the output. Uh, and of course, when you turn it on, it may see 60 uh, on uh, your power coming in. And so uh, it's gonna be a problem. It also won't let you go to static bypass if you do that. Once you've done this, just go over and plug it in. Plug it in first. And you should see that display light up and hear the beep. And you can see on the display, it says load not powered, press start. So we're gonna go ahead and press the start. Hold it, you see UPS starting so you can let go. It says load not powered, but it will in just a second. There you go, you see the little sine wave right here on the upper left hand corner. That means uh, the online double conversion is in effect. UPS is on and the uh, load is supported. Just to verify a few things, you wanna hit this enter button go to measurements, hit the enter again. Uh, we're gonna go to input and output. And you can see here, my voltage is reading at 121 volts, but the output is uh, right at 120 because that's what it's supposed to be with this UPS. The input frequency is 60 hertz and so is the output. I'll escape out of here. Just while we're in here, you can go and see what your load is. Of course, right now we don't, we don't have any load on it. Um, shows your watts, amps, uh, VA and your power factor and there's on this particular unit there's a couple different outlet groups it reads those and then it reads it as a whole Get back out of here. since it was a new unit and it's been in the box um, it says 90% here which is the batteries are 90% charged it'll take a while for that uh, last 10% to catch up um, and then it also gives you a value of percentage which is the percentage of load that you have on the UPS which of course right now is zero uh, zero KW, zero KVA, and it's zero percent efficient because there's no load on it. If you are ever a point where you need to go to static bypass, you just hit this enter, go to controls, and it says go to bypass at the top here. Hit enter, it's going to say, Are you sure? That's your little up arrow, go over to yes, and you can see this little amber light here, which with a circle and an arrow, uh, and a line going around it, that's uh, showing that you're on static bypass. That means Power is going through the unit, um, but it is not protected. You just want to make sure that you never leave this UPS in that state unless uh, you're doing it on purpose for some reason. And um, but a lot of times it would be an accident. Occasionally we'll show up and somebody says, oh, we had a power outage and all my, all my equipment, I was lost, everything was lost. And you, you go to find out, well, it's been on static bypass for who knows how long. So anyway, we're going to go back to normal, just hit that little enter button again, it says, are you sure? Hit your arrow button, yes, you'll hear it click, there you go. If you did want to set this up as a tower configuration, uh, it's the same unit, it ships with some little brackets that mount um, on the bottom here, it just makes it where it kind of holds it, makes it a little wider, and of course the unit stands up on its side, um, and then that's of course when you'd want to turn the, the unit a quarter turn over. Go ahead and escape out of here. If you do, for whatever reason, need to turn it off, you can. Um, what I like to do is go to controls, go ahead and make it go to bypass. Are you sure? Now it's on static bypass. 
and we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. So we'll escape out of here, get back to the main screen. This power button, if you just press it and hold it, it says output will be shut off. Are you sure? Yes, your enter button. Now the output is completely off. Load not powered. The unit's still running because we still have, we still have input source feeding it. Don't wanna go over here and unplug it. So now there is no power on the unit, but it, it does it does show that see bypass voltage out of range. Basically, it's because there is there is no there's no input. And here in a second, it'll end up it'll end up shutting off. Once you sit here for a while, see so there it goes. It's UPS shutting off, and it will uh, it will soft shut the UPS off. There you go. That's it. Hope this was helpful.